up what nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 of nerdigans thank you today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for sakamoto day's chapter 168 but before we get into this recap and live reaction uh we are at war with youtube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this algorithmic beast we need you to please hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored in we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and nah. We ain't sponsored by Manga Plus and nah. We ain't sponsored by Viz. Considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <clears throat> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my naughty assassin kitty over there, bad Zeno, bad! Oh, and this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below, as well as the link um, to our video covering the Sakamoto Days anime adaptation that was announced um, over the past week. That link will be in the description box below as well. So, um, so what we're going to do today, because this is the final chapter of this arc, um, we'll give like a brief recap of the previous chapter then dive into this chapter, um, give our thoughts on, you know, the conclusion of this arc, the arc as a whole, and what we are looking forward to from the next arc. So anyways, um, last chapter of Sakamoto Days, the impossible, became, not only became possible, it actually happened. And that was uh, Suzuki yeah, Suzuki had Izuki not only, you know, had the Takamura personality come out of, uh, well, develop, awaken, and come out of uh, Izuki, but this man sliced Takamura in half. He took out Takamura and not just, you know, regular Takamura, an awakened Takamura. And, ooh, it's go, it going to be interesting to see what happens from here. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And, ooh, we got a beautiful color page, of course, to, um, uh, you know, celebrate the anime adaptation. And this chapter is titled, um, Museum Closed. Okay, let me just pull this up for the opening text. The battle of uh, death comes to an end. Um, Izuki cuts Takamura in half and disappears. And Sakamoto? Izuki. But based on what we saw, and now we know how the personalities are manifesting from Izuki. Yeah, it kind of confirm probably confirms a lot of uh, fan fear uh, theories on how a cow was killed. Mm-hmm. Nagumo! Oh, my, my man better survive, I swear. I will be furious if he dies. His body's hypothermic. This is bad. We got, um, we both lost uh, too much blood. We gotta get out of here. Oh, Nagumo, don't die. He better not die. His final movements, don't tell me. Oh, yes. Yes, and this is why you gotta have the opening and closing text. I swear, Shueisha, for the love of God, you have people paying for, for Manga Plus. Just just have Medibang freaking do your localizations for, um, for Manga Plus. And you will have more people paying. Not only there will be less piracy um, for, for like series like One Piece and, uh, um, and Jujutsu Kaisen, You'll have people paying for it. Seriously, people are stupid. Shin, wait, Shin, you're okay. Collapse. Now let's see what's here. Let's give him the, uh, give him this too. No, Don, it's gonna spill. And when he smells um the food, the boss will. It's not an animal, okay? You'd be go wake up to the food. Zeno. It's like Zeno. He will come if he smells the tweets. He will come. Hi, Naughty Kitty. What are you doing? Did you finish your mission, Kitty? Did you kill the assassins? Oh, he's just walking away now. Oh, see? 
oh, there's burgers and fries. And there are McDonald's burgers. Or, yeah, McDonald's burgers and fries. And it's not the cringy McDonald's either. Oh, my God, that manga is just bad. Where am I? Mr. Sakamoto. One week? Um, yeah, a week ago, Shin dragged you here covered in blood. Took it for a corpse at first, for heaven's sake. Oh, Nakomo sleeping. He's okay. You don't remember? Um, you collapsed at the art museum, Mr. Sakamoto. I was trying to drag you and Nakumo out of there. Um, impressive. Uh, dude, uh, and then we bumped into Amari. Amari! Um, uh, just, and Osaragi too. Yay! So there she, yeah, there she is. Uh, just when it seemed like it was all over, oh, Seba showed up just in the nick of time. Seba! Um, and right now, everyone's been evacuated to safety to the JCC and elsewhere. Well, I'm glad everyone's okay, but now the problem is the JAA is currently mobilizing all of its forces to search for you, uh, Mr. Sakamoto. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Right, Kitty? What are you doing? Sakamoto, uh, Sakamoto's not here? Buy something. Uh -huh. Buy something. I'm sorry, little girl. Um, oh, Hannah is so smart. I'm sorry, uh, little girl. I'm busy right now. Mr. Sakamoto woke up. Yay! Uh, Wakey! Oh, good. Um, they're, that better be encrypted. Or they're in trouble. But knowing, knowing Sakamoto, knowing Taro Sakamoto, he's probably smart and has everything um, encrypted. For the phones. They were probably prepared for this. Uh, so all the messages and all the calls, they're um, all encrypted. So uh, the JAA can't get into um, their text messages and stuff. Uh, let's see. Time for a special TV, a special, I'm oh, sorry. Time for STV Assassin News. In the um, Okutabi Art Museum attack last uh, last week, the cost of damages is estimated at over 20 billion yen. Floaters are continuing uh, restoration activities. You know what would be nice here? Shueisha localizers, or not Shueisha, I'm sorry. Viz Media localizers. Something that's in not just fan translations, but it's also in the uh, Manga Plus exclusive uh, translations, you know, Medibang and, um, and all them. Um, it is kind of the conversion it'd be nice to have that the yen to dollar conversion i know it's a small thing but it's nice to it's just nice to have it it's just a little thing but it's nice to have it principal uh culprits uh, taro sakamoto yuichi nagumo and k izuki have been designated as special class a extermination targets um the investigations department is currently searching for the targets whose whereabouts are unknown the designation of special class A extermination targets has only taken place uh, twice in the um, in the past and among uh, JAA operatives, so that's what's happening. Mm. Oh, Nikumo! Mm. Nikumo, you rat! How long have you been awake? Uh, since yesterday, actually. Long time no see, Granny Mia. Uh, you're a tough little whippersnapper, that's for sure. All right, Sakamoto, let's cut to the chase. And it, um, isn't it about time you told us what happened at the art museum? Um, what happened with X? So X took Mr. Takamura's life? Is this Takamura guy seriously that freaky? Well, if um, these two kids wound up like this, he's for sure the toughest guy in the assassin world. I heard rumors about him when I was young. I'm amazed there was someone with the chops to kill him. How on earth was this X guy strong enough to kill someone that tough? No, that was an X. Yeah, huh? And that final attack and uh, from his movements when he left, I'm 100% sure that Izuki became Mr. Takamura. Are you saying Takamura's um, persona took over X? That's right. That's right, Nagumo, is that what you also think? Mm, at first I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me, but I thought about it and I think the only person who could actually kill Mr. Takamura is Mr. Takamura. Wait a minute, um, someone's persona taking over someone else's? Is this for real? Yeah, you two are probably just freaked out and- No. Right, Wu-Tang? Why aren't you saying anything? Slur's multiple personality disorder is triggered by extreme stress. This is just a hypothesis, but the psychological stress of seeing his friends killed off one by one and his fear of Mr. Takamura could have triggered Izuki's self-preservation instincts. That's gotta be what happened with the cow. 
Um, so in order to deal with Mr. Takamura, uh, he created a new persona within himself. So that persona was, um, persona was essentially a copy of Mr. Takamura. It's the worst case scenario imaginable. Mm-hmm. This is. Oh. This is going to be very interesting. Long time no see, Shishiba and Osuragi. You're a minute and 14 seconds late. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, you're as nitpicky as ever. What uh, d difference does one minute make? What can you do in that time? Um, the one thing I could kill you. Go ahead and try. Expect me to work for free? Ooh, so this is order member Oki. Okay. If you want to, want to hire me for a job, pay up and go through the JAA. I'll kill you any way you like. All right, that's enough. Why'd you call us over here? Um, well, I was on assignment overseas. Two order members died. Two left the force and multiple branches of the JAA have been destroyed. I'm extremely disappointed in you. But it's the leader's fault when his underlings screwed up. Um, when his underlings screwed up. I will take responsibility for this and die after the mission is over. Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice drop dead. Awesome, die. Um, so what, mm. so what will your final act be to correct what is wrong in the name of the order? Hmm. The dawn of a new world of hired assassins begins to stir. So, okay. It, mm. But there's something else happening here, too. Yotsumura is still alive. We have that action happening as well. But there's also this right here. I want to go back to this that was said. But it's the leader's fault when his underlings screw up. Hmm. Well, you have some, <laughs> let's talk about this chapter first and then we'll get to, get to this conclusion. This chapter, in, well, in terms of a conclusion, as I should say, in terms of a conclusion to this, to this arc, I am not mad about it. I was hoping that, I feel like something that was missing that would have really given this a little bit more and maybe we'll see it in the next chapter or something I really wish we would have seen like one last shot of Izuki I know we have the picture yeah but just that one last shot of Izuki just like in the darkness um, like when they're talking about Izuki's, you know, when they're explaining Izuki's multiple personality disorder, I wish we would have had like a visual exposition and um, like a metaphor, you know, visual exposition showing Izuki and what's going on in his mind. It just would have given so, it would have given that extra oomph and made it like, it just would have given that extra um, ex. <laughs> X factor to this chapter and it would have just made it so much better especially in terms of like a concluding chapter for an arc like this I, at least for me especially since at the start of this chapter when you see Izuki disappear it's like into this uh, into the light and wouldn't it have been nice to see the darkness like surrounding Izuki as you know the expl we're getting the explanation the exposition for um, his multiple personality disorder. I really feel like that would have just taken this to the next level if we would have had that. That's the thing I feel like is missing the most. The other thing that I think is missing here, yeah, is um, seeing um, uh, seeing uh, the chief. And we also have Yotsumura here. We, we need to see what's going down with Yotsumura and Amane. And Seba. Like, those three, I feel like not having them is kind of hurting this a little bit, too. 
but I just, you know, I have to remember that this is, uh, the, we're limited to the amount of pages here. This is not like a bi-weekly or a monthly series, but man, it's really, like, I really, especially with the anime getting announced, I really wish Shueisha would have given this chapter some extra pages to just get that oomph here, just to give us that. I really feel like it was needed here. Now, in terms of this arc as a whole, do I feel, that's another qu good question, do I feel like this arc was a little bit rushed? I will, oh, just, the thing is for me, I feel like what was missing in this arc was Yotsumura. Yotsumura not showing up really hurt this arc. Takamura was the highlight of this arc period. Let's be fucking real. Takamura was the highlight of this arc. But man, not having that confrontation, not seeing Yotsumura having that reunion with Amane, not seeing, just not having Yotsumura in this arc really, really hurt it for me. But can it be redeemed? Yes, it could be redeemed. The um, how I feel like it is going to build up, um, and hopefully it will make it more satisfying. But man, the Seba, oh, the Seba con, what the other highlights of the arc? Let's be real, are the Seba content. Oh, the Seba content was fabulous. Um, and the other one that was great, uh, of course, the Nagumo, the Nagumo Gaku fight. <gasps> the Nagumo Gaku fight was amazing. I love that fight. The Shin fight was was also fantastic. I'm not mad at the Shin fight. The fight, the fights in general, let's be clear. The fights in general were great. I still think the only other fight that I, and this is where I feel like Yotsumura would have came in and really shined here because you would have gotten, a, well, you would have had another reunion too, in, in a sense, with, uh, with Shishido technically. Um, if, if you would have had Yotsumura come in in the middle of that fight, oh, that would have been nice. That would have really, really just, mm. Mm. But man, that, Takam that Takamura fight was good. But yeah, I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, I feel like there was just a little bit of exposition, uh, just a teeny bit of exposition. I do, um, I like the Akao content that we did get. I feel, uh, do, I'm curious what you guys think in terms of going forward. I feel like the seeds have been planted. This is why I'm like, I'm not super mad about the Akao uh, stuff, like not being revealed to, um, like how a cow was uh, killed being revealed just yet. Because now that we know we have the person, how the personalities work and all that, and maybe this is why I can maybe give the Yotsumura stuff a pass for now is because now that the seeds are planted because we have the Yotsumura content planted um, uh, in the previous arc too, the seeds are planted and now the stage is getting close to being set. I'm hoping it will be in the next arc we will get it. But the other thing though, I'm very curious about is will, will Azuki get more personalities or not? Because they got a cow and Takamura. Will, will this be like, that's, that's the thing. Will this be like a white, a white situation from, and I know I'm very behind on Tower of God, it is going to be a long live reaction for Tower of God. Will this be like with white in Tower of God? That's a really good question. Hmm. Obviously, with White and Tower of God, it's a sibling, so it's not like White, White to an extent. But White has a shit ton of personalities up in him. Like, if, I feel like if anything, this might be like a mixture of White from Tower of God, and I know this is going to be so random, but. It's like that with a mixture of Mike from uh, Total Drama Island. That's what I want this to be. Or that's how I could picture it being for um, Izuki. 
Yeah, that feels right. But I want to, I want to know, it's going to be like, Azuki, basically in terms of his personalities, it's going to be like his own order in terms of personalities. But did it, but, hmm. I wonder though if his, if his brother knows this. At some point, if his brother realizes this is happening, and he's got to, at this point, he got to realize this is happening now, if he's going to take advantage of it, or if it's going to bite him in the if he tries to, that would be interesting, but I doubt that's going to happen. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys thought of this chapter, especially in terms of the conclusion. Do you guys agree with me that, um, that if we had, like, that visual exposition of, um, of Takamura's like personality, it would have just uh, how we got the uh, personalities and like see like that darkness and have like a t like a round table kind of thing. That w it would have just real kind of like um, the round table in uh, um, a la uh, Undead and Luck kind of thing going on. It would have just really just taken it to the next level. Um, what did you guys think of this arc? Do you think not having Yotsumura show up, um, like, kind of like I do, kind of hurt this arc just a little bit? Or at least have an appearance of Yotsumura, like, sh like up in here, hurt it? Do you think that there were parts of this arc that were rushed a little bit? Um, and what was your favorite part of this arc? And what are you looking forward to um, in, the next, uh, in the next arc? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Sakamoto Days content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.